your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, I'm no Chad Evans, but hey, I'll give you your forecast anyway. Here's precision right now. You can see the local view here. We had a few snow showers earlier this afternoon and some sleet mixed in with that as well. We've kind of been in a break here as we had a dry slot move in. You can see that right here on precision. Now, if you look a little farther to the west and a little bit to the south, you can see this snow starting to fill in here as we're getting some more moisture. Now, it's not looking like as much moisture as we originally thought is working into this system. So our snow totals may be cut down a little bit, but still something to watch as all the viewing area is still under a winter weather advisory. It's chilly out there right now. We're still in the teens at this hour. We might warm temperatures up just a little bit as we get an approach from that system from the south. They're 18 the current temperature right now. And we've had gusts as high as 21 miles per hour earlier this afternoon. Now other temperatures across the region cooler in the northeast here. 17 in Peru and Logansport, 16 in Rochester. And if you go farther to the southwest where they're starting to feel that system pull in, 21 in Attica, 23 right now in Perrysville. Now here's satellite radar showing you the extensive cloud cover that this system is bringing here. Now notice where the heaviest band of snow is on this up to our north. Now that's where we continue to think that the heaviest snow is going to fall. When this fills in and moves through our area that will drop a little bit of accumulation for us through this evening into the very early overnight hours. Let's time it out with Futurecast. Here's Friday, here's tonight, 7 p.m. You can see the snow starting to build in just a little bit. Futurecast showing it a little bit heavier up to the north, lighter down to the south, and that's what we continue to think. So here's what your forecast looks like for the rest of the evening. We're gonna try to warm temperatures up just a little bit this evening, 22 by seven by midnight, 20 degrees. That's when the snow showers will continue and they'll wind down through the overnight hours, 14 degrees for the low here in Lafayette. Now here's the snowfall forecast. Pay attention to where the heaviest snow band is. If you look here, the heaviest snow band here well to the north of Lafayette, and that's where it's going to remain. We could see anywhere from three to maybe four or five inches as the farther north and uh, excuse me, the farther north of Lafayette you are, the more you're going to see. Here in the central part of the, the viewing area, I'm thinking right now one to three inches, most locations one to two, but isolated three inches possible. And the farther south you are, more sleet may mix in with your snow, one to two inches for you guys, say around Petersburg or Thorntown. In future cast, Saturday morning will clear the skies out and will stay clear through Saturday afternoon and evening, even into the beginning part of Sunday, looking pretty nice, even a little bit warmer too. Tomorrow's highs in the mid 20s, 25 in Logansport, 25 for the high in Peru. Again, tonight it'll be a little chilly. Roads could be slick as we expect a little bit of accumulation when that snow moves in. 14 tonight, 26 tomorrow, decreasing clouds throughout the day in the seven day forecast. Doesn't look too bad on Sunday, 46, but then Monday we have a chance for maybe some rain and a few thunderstorms there. Still in the 40s, 36 by Tuesday. More rain chances by the end of next week. Okay, thanks so much.